The sound is very soothing. I actually I like it when the, the air is a little more quiet because then it feels like it makes it feel like butter. Okay. It's like so smooth. I feel you. Because like when it makes this kind of sound, it kind of feels like hollowish. But then like when you when it's like properly lubricated and stuff and it doesn't make any sounds, then it feels like I don't know. Feel. I feel you. Kind of spiritual, but uh. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's like December 2014. Um, I I got like super bored one day, and I had a yo-yo on me, and I went on YouTube, and I was just like, "All right, master yo-yo tricks." And it's just like TED Talk by this um Japanese dude. Stage name is just like Black, and um, he had this performance at the end. Um, I mean, he gave this like speech. It was called like my journey to yo-yo mastery. And I did this performance day on the TED talk, and um, I like I, I kind of went into the video being like, oh man, how like how stupid is this guy gonna be? Just like I dedicated my life to yo-yo. I was ready to laugh at it, but then I saw it and I was like, oh, that's really cool. And then I got a yo-yo, and that's like that was the beginning of the end right there. It's all downhill. So what you do is you feed the string into the loop of the yo-yo like that, and kind of like pull it through. And then this is like an adjustable slip knot that you can put your finger on, and then just... just Alright, and we're ready to go. Different angles, it's like there's, there's one aspect where it's still just kind of like, I don't know, it's a toy. It's, a, it's never gonna, like, I don't know, transcend just being a toy that you play with. And But I mean, at the same time, like, it, it's almost kind of like... Since there are like the competitions and stuff like that, and it gets it gets pretty competitive. But there's like a sporty kind of aspect to it. But then, like from another aspect, it's like it's almost like an art form, like a dance. I, I like to compare it to like I don't know figure skating. I feel like that's one of the closest kind of comparisons you can make. It, I I really do like the fact that it's just like it can be so beautiful, even if it's just like it started from just I don't know. You did it because you wanted to have some fun, pick up a yo-yo, just throw it around a little bit, and then like you can evolve into something that's so like, I don't know, captivating. I've been yo-yoing like for so long that like it's kind of become how I define myself, kind of. Like if if I didn't yo-yo, I don't know what I would like do. Because this is just like, I just like play video games all the time or something like that. Because it's like, when I think of myself, I'd like, as much as I don't like when people look at me and they're like, it's the yo-yo dude! And that's just like, that's just complete base level, that's, that's all they ever get into. I kind of think of myself the same way. I'm just like, oh, I'm the yo-yo dude, my name is Green Bee, and I'm just, I yo-yo carefreely, and that's all I do. I, I like to think about, like, if I were to go back in time, and just, like, change the YouTube algorithm, so I would see a different video that looks stupid, instead of, like, the cool TED Talk, and I was like, oh man, yo-yoing's stupid. And I would, like, go back to where I am now, I'd probably just like, I, I don't know at all where I'd be. It, it would be, I don't know. Maybe I'd be somewhere better because I wouldn't spend so much time on yo-yoing or money. I would, I would have like 5,000 more dollars. <laughs> so. I, it really is like, it's a thing that like carries people. Like, I don't know, it's like save people from like depression and stuff like that and anxiety. And it's like, or, or maybe not, because I mean, like, when you think of the yo-yo community, everybody's like depressed or on weed. So like, <laughs> I don't know, it's like, maybe it doesn't really help that much, but like, you always hear people say, like, there's like, there's this entire um, organization called like Purple Yo-Yo or something like that. It's like dedicated to like helping yo-yoers with depression and stuff like that, because it's really something that you could like escape into. It's like, it's almost like a coping mechanism. And so it's really something that people like can depend on to like kind of bring them out of bad situations. And so it like I don't know, it promotes like a good relationship with yo yoing. People really do like I don't know. A lot of people define themselves as I don't know a part of the yo yo community more than anything else. <laughs> Yeah. What about 
got like five guys though. Five like, guys. It's just like, oh man, five guys. It's like, it's just because you can like put on any top of them. Well, like, no like I've been to Five Guys and it's not that good. It's just, I don't, like, I it's don't just a burger. So. Right? I don't think Habit is good at all. I Habit? Think, I think Habit's decent. Yeah, Habit's alright. Like, it's like a pretty decent alternative if I can't go to in and out. Yeah. 